Hey everyone, this is Sasha bringing you a video tutorial today from bp for You, and today we're going to go over our catalog. And so, exactly what is a catalog? It is just a database, and it collects and stores information in the catalog, um, such as these color-coded um, preferences that we have over our photos that we're using to kind of um, filter them. It stores the flags, it stores the presets and the adjustments that you're making to your photos. And so um, it's not actually writing things on top of your photographs themselves. Instead it's storing them in these documents um, so that you are making non-destructive changes to your photos, which is why we can always go back in and hit that reset button. And so this is my default catalog right here that we're looking in. This is the one that um, when I opened up Lightroom for the first time, this is the catalog that I started working in. And it's the only one that I've ever used in this particular version of Lightroom. And I am fine with that. Um, you may not be. So if you don't want to work in this catalog and for some reason you want, um, for your own reasons, you have you want to work in a new catalog or you want to have separate catalogs, um, then I'm going to show you right now how you can make a new one. And so we're actually just going to come up here to File and New Catalog. And so now we get to pick where we want our catalog to be. And so we can put our catalog anywhere we want to. And so I could stick that, um, you know, in my documents somewhere. I could stick that in my video folders. Um, I could stick that somewhere in my computer. And so once you have a place, and for now I'm going to put it over here. So once you have a place for that, you can go ahead and you can make a name for it. So you have to name your catalog. And so I can call this my Lightroom. My Lightroom, we'll just call it my Lightroom info for now. And so you can do things that um, would make this sort better. Um, some people like to add, um, you know, numbers or something at the beginning to make that so that it stands up at the top of your screen up here. Or some people like to just keep it completely separate for the rest of your computer. Um, you can see I don't have any music, so if I want something to be separate from the rest of my computer, I usually put it in here because the rest of my files are, or the rest of my folders are very, very full. So um, it's just one of those personal things. So once you have it named where how you want it to be named and you have it navigated to the folder you want it to be in, you just go ahead and you click Save. So my Lightroom has closed. And we're going to give it just a second here. And it's reopening back up again. And so it's going to reopen with this new catalog. And you can see I don't have any photos in this new catalog yet. Um, it's all new and shiny and ready to go. Some of the things that I was thinking to myself might be good for having separate catalogs. I know that I do a lot of stuff um, with these video tutorials and stuff. I'm working with you guys and editing photographs often that aren't actually taken by me, that aren't personal to me. And so um, I could use separate catalogs so that I could edit my personal photos of my kids in one catalog and keep my work stuff separate. And the same thing too is um, if you're like a family or a wedding or a portrait photographer, um, again, you could keep your work stuff separate from maybe your personal stuff so that when you opened up, you know, a catalog of just your kids, you're not, for example, if you wanted to play a slideshow and you wanted to play a slideshow for grandpa and grandma because they came to visit and you did that right in your Lightroom, um, it would be awesome to not have to call through and get rid of you know, the Miller family and the Smith wedding 
and so on, because that would be in a completely different catalog than your personal work. And so those are just my personal thoughts. Um, take that with a grain of salt. But that was how I thought that, you know, that the separate catalogs might be helpful to photographers. And so it's really easy, as you can see, <clears throat> excuse me, to make a new catalog and it could be very helpful to you as well. So thank you for watching this video tutorial. Happy editing.